The story of the Panavia tornado began in the late 1960s, when three European countries, the United Kingdom, West Germany, and Italy, sought a common solution to their next-generation multi-role combat aircraft needs. The idea was to create a shared platform to reduce costs and foster international cooperation. And so, the Panavia Aircraft GmbH Consortium was established in 1969, bringing together British Aerospace, Air Italia, and MBB to jointly develop the Tornado. The Tornado was designed as a variable geometry wing aircraft, or swing wing as it's often called. This allowed the wings to be swept back for high-speed flight and forward for low-speed stability, enabling the aircraft to excel in various mission profiles. The Tornado was powered by two turbofan engines, each producing around 16,000 pounds of thrust, allowing it to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.2. The Tornado's avionics suite and integrated weapon systems were also cutting edge for its time. It featured a terrain-following radar, which allowed it to fly at extremely low altitudes, to avoid enemy radar detection. Additionally, it had an advanced fire control system that could track multiple targets simultaneously and deliver a wide range of precision-guided munitions. There were three main variants of the Tornado, the Tornado IDS, the Tornado ADV, and the Tornado ECR. Each variant was specialized for a particular mission, with the IDS being the primary ground attack version, the ADV for air defense and interception, and the ECR for electronic warfare and reconnaissance tasks. Each of the three consortium countries tailored their Tornado variants to their specific requirements, resulting in some unique configurations and capabilities. The Tornado entered service in the early 1980s, with the first Tornado IDS delivered to the German Air Force in 1981. It quickly became a crucial part of NATO's air power, participating in numerous exercises and missions throughout the Cold War. The United Kingdom's Royal Air Force employed the Tornado in various roles throughout its service. Notably, during the 1991 Gulf War, the RAF's Tornado GR-1s were tasked with the suppression of enemy air defenses and conducting low-level strike missions. The Tornado was later upgraded to the GR-4 variant, which featured enhanced avionics and the ability to carry more advanced weapons. The RAF Tornado fleet also played a key role in enforcing the no-fly zone over Bosnia in the mid-1990s, and participated in the 1999 NATO bombing campaign in Kosovo. The Tornado continued its operational history in Afghanistan, providing close air support and reconnaissance capabilities. In recent years, the RAF Tornado GR-4s have been deployed as part of Operation Shader, the UK's contribution to the international coalition against ISIS. The Tornado was instrumental in conducting precision airstrikes against ISIS targets, in Iraq and Syria, showcasing its enduring capabilities and adaptability to changing combat scenarios. The German Air Force, Luftwaffe, was the first to introduce the Tornado IDS into service. German tornadoes played a significant role in NATO exercises throughout the Cold War, showcasing the aircraft's capabilities, and fostering cooperation between NATO countries. During the 1999 Kosovo War, the German Air Force participated in combat operations for the first time since World War II, deploying tornadoes in strike missions. Germany also operated the Tornado ECR, which was used for suppression of enemy air defenses and electronic warfare missions. The ECR was instrumental in the enforcement of the no-fly zone over Libya in 2011, where it carried out jamming and reconnaissance tasks. The Italian Air Force operated both the Tornado IDS and ECR variants. Italian Tornadoes participated in the 1991 Gulf War, conducting strike missions, alongside their British and German counterparts. The Italian Tornado fleet also played a role in the NATO bombing campaign in Kosovo, and contributed to the enforcement of the no-fly zone over Libya. Italian tornadoes have been used for various NATO missions, and have been deployed in Afghanistan for close air support and reconnaissance operations. As the last operator of the tornado, Italy is expected to retire the aircraft in the coming years. As the tornado approached the end of its operational life, it began to be replaced by more modern aircraft, such as the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-35 Lightning II. The UK Royal Air Force retired its last tornado in 2019, followed by the German Air Force in 2021. Italy, 
the last country to still operate the tornado, is expected to retire the aircraft in the coming years. Despite its retirement, the Panavia tornado leaves behind a lasting legacy as a symbol of successful international collaboration and an impressive engineering achievement. Its versatility, speed, and advanced capabilities made it a formidable aircraft for its time, and its service record speaks for itself. Moreover, the tornado's development and production processes laid the groundwork for future European defense projects, such as the Eurofighter Typhoon and the A400M Atlas transport aircraft, demonstrating the value of multinational cooperation in the world of aviation. The Panavia Tornado has certainly earned its place in aviation history, as a remarkable aircraft born out of close collaboration between three European nations. It's an excellent example of how countries can work together, to achieve a common goal and produce a formidable, multi-role combat aircraft. As we bid farewell to the tornado, we can't help but appreciate the significant impact it had on European defense and aviation as a whole.